Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I know it's been a long time, but here I am and about to teach you guys another bracelet, which is beautiful, a bit skinny because it doesn't have a lot of strings, it only has eight. So I'll have the measurements right here. So it's going to be different because right here I started with the loop. I do have a video on how to make the loop and all the links are going to be in the description. And since I made the loop, then the measure I used four strings, four colors, and they're a certain um, length. But then, if you guys are not going to use the loop, then it's going to be eight strings, two of each color, which is four colors, and it's going to be shorter strings. But I'll have all that information. So, you're going to set up your strings just as like you're making a chevron so I have orange in the middle and then pink white and then purple okay so I'm gonna start on the left side and we're just gonna make with this string first string three four war knots okay and if you guys have no idea how to make a four war knot I do have a video on how to make a forward knot along with how to make the base one of the basic bracelets which is the candy stripe okay so there's two and then three there you go now we're gonna go to the other side for a string from right to left and this time we're going to make three backward knots so one two and three here we have it now the two purple strings are in the middle so we just join them doesn't matter if it's a forward or a backward knot but strings are the same color so it's gonna look the same and there you go now again the first string from left to right and this time we're gonna make two forward knots. So one and two. Now we're gonna keep working on this side. We grab the first string. Again, this time it's a pink one. And then we're gonna make another forward knot to the orange string. There you go. Now we're gonna go back to the white one, which is the third string. One, two, three. And we're gonna make two backward knots. So one and two. And now we're gonna grab the fourth string, one, two, three, four, which is a purple one, and we're gonna make three backward knots. So one Two, and three. Still this side, the same string, we're going to go back and making four or nuts. Three four or nuts. One, two, and three there you go and see I left a little bit of this pink string hanging which that's what you want because that's what helps to make the shape of the bracelet okay now we're done with this side 
So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but with opposite knots. So first string from right to left, and then two backward knots. So there's one and two. There you go. First string again, which is the pink one. One backward knot. Then we're gonna go to the third string, which is the white one. We're gonna go back to that one. One, two, three. And we're gonna make two forward knots. One. And two. And there you go. And now we're gonna grab the fourth string, which is the purple one. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna make three forward knots. One, two, and three. And then the same string, we're going to go back with three backward knots. One, two, and three. There you go. The purple ones are in the middle and we just unite them. I always use a forward knot, so it's up to you. Whatever is more comfortable to you. And there you go, that's all the steps. See, it's such a simple bracelet, but it does look like it's really hard and complicated because it's just beautiful. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so then you're just repeat the steps. So we started with the regular chevron. chevron. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to repeat these steps one more time so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So now the face is going to be white because it's the first string. So on the left side we make three forward knots. Okay. And remember we're doing exactly what we did in the beginning, just with different color strings. There you go. Now, the other side, make sure it's the same color. If it's not, then you grab the, you made a knot, an incorrect knot somewhere. Okay. First string, the white one, and three backward knots. One, two, and three. There you go. They're in the middle, the two white strings, so we join them. And there you go. This step is this one, and now we're going to make this. Okay, so we're just ignoring the right side for now. We grab the new string, and this time it's going to be two forward knots one and two. Okay, now we grab the first string, which is the pink one, and we're going to make one. Or we're not. Then we're gonna go back to the third string. One, two, three. Back to the orange one. I'm gonna make two backward knots. One and two. There you go. Now we grab the fourth string, which is a white one. And we make three 
back row knots. One, two, and three. Then same string, we're gonna go back to making three forward knots. One, two, and three. There's half of the face. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but opposite knots on the other side. So for a string, it is a what? it is the orange, so we're gonna make three. I mean, excuse me, two backward knots. So one and two. Now we have the first string, which is the pink one, one backward knot. And now we're gonna go back to the orange string, which is the third string from right to left. And we're gonna make two forward knots. One. And two. There you go. Now we grab the fourth string, which is the white one, and we're gonna make three forward knots. One, two, and three. Now, with the same string, we're gonna go back with three backward knots. One. I almost grabbed the wrong string. Two. And three. And there you go. The two white strings are in the middle. So we tie them together. There you go, same steps repeated twice. So you do everything again, which is start with the regu regular chevron, but this time it's gonna be orange. So now the face is gonna be orange. And just to let you know, the pink one is always gonna be the eyes, okay? Like the the pupils. So that's what the pink one's gonna be. So if you have a color that you don't really like in your bracelet, you can make sure that it's the I believe it's the last string, I believe. You can put it in the place where it's going to be, because this string is not even moving at all, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this bracelet, okay, so you guys can appreciate more the design. So let's continue. Here we have it. I have to admit that yes, I made mine a bit too short, but that's because I was using leftover string. So if I was gonna keep doing it, I wasn't gonna have enough string to tie it up. But the strings to which I used to tie, like this ones, are way too long. So it actually it still fits me. So sometimes I like to do that because. Even though it looks unfinished with the root braid, that's why it's one of my favorite ways to finish my braid with the root braid. Because I don't have to make a whole bracelet, just like half of it. And then once to tie it, it still looks good. See, it kind of looks like on purpose, but there you go. And don't worry, I am giving you the correct measurements where you can complete a full bracelet to cover your whole wrist, okay? But there you go, there's the bracelet. So it changes to three faces, color faces, purple, white, orange, and then again, purple, white, orange. And there you go. I hope you like this tutorial if you did please like this video I also invite you guys to like my Facebook page 
where I share some of the friendship bracelets that I make and uh, that's where I read your messages or try to because I am getting a lot <laughs> a lot of them but I try to reply okay and well that's it if you guys would like to see more videos of these beautiful friendship bracelets then please subscribe and I will see you next time <laughs>